Do you need to eat more in space than on Earth? So the question was, do you need to eat more? Well, you know what? Um, initially, I wasn't hungry when I first get to space. I'm not so hungry. I, you know, it's sort of like your, I don't know, if your your digestive system doesn't isn't getting sparked by the need for food. But now that we've been here for quite some time and we're working out on a regular basis and trying to keep our bone density up, I think I talked about that with all of you and our muscle mass because we're working out we're running on the treadmill we're riding on the bicycle or we're and we're lifting weights um, I'm eating quite a bit <laughs> I at home maybe I eat breakfast and then I eat dinner and I sort of skip lunch which is not a good habit by the way but up here I feel like I'm super hungry and I want to eat those three meals a day and then sometimes even a little bit of a snack um, while our bone density and muscle mass would go away if we didn't that we normally do. Um, as I get closer to landing... How does the food in space compare to the food you eat normally? Is it hard to eat or drink? Um, the food is good because that's all we have here. I think if I had the choice to have some other food that was what we get back on Earth, like mom's home cooking, like mom's Thanksgiving, I probably would opt for that. But like for Thanksgiving, we had uh, we actually had dehydrated roasted turkey, which was surprisingly pretty good. Um, we didn't have any cranberries, like from Cape Cod, unfortunately, but we did have um, apples and spice, which went alongside to get that salty sweet thing. It's not horribly hard to eat here because of those little bags that I was showing you that the food stays in there, and everybody has a spoon. All the food is a little bit gooey, so it all sticks to the spoon. So that works out pretty good. Um, drinks are a little bit different. I will demonstrate because I brought one with me here. This happens to be pineapple drink. So all of our drinks come in something that looks like this, a little silver bag. And that's how, when I was talking about the water fountain, we fill up water right at the top here and then we put a straw in. But I'm gonna put the mic down for a second and just show you it's sort of like a, a, a juice bag, right? So let me just show you what liquids look like up here. It's a little bit of a pain, but sometimes it's fun. Good. So those are like some of the things we eat, and um, I pick out my favorite stuff like this. And, and there's so much to do for fun in space. I don't know. Did you guys see our Olympic video? Huh? I mean, it's amazing what you can do up in space for fun. Um, I, I'm trying to perfect my, uh, my gymnastics, of course. I think I'm getting pretty good at it. I can even still talk while I'm doing some of them, which is pretty fun. Uh, so for fun, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, other, other fun things, I actually write a journal, which I think you guys get, which is, um, I think, just, just good because it puts things in perspective. Uh, I actually, I think I like everything about being up here. Um, even on Saturdays when we clean, it's fun because, like, we have um, vents down here. But all I got to do is go upside down, you know, with the vacuum cleaner or whatever, and I could do everything from a different perspective. So I think, I think just living in space is super fun. And just looking out the window and trying to identify places is pretty fun for me. I, 